Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to St. Louis Catholic High School football on the Southwest Louisiana Sports Network. Today's game is sponsored by Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Stoops and Laverne Attorneys at Law. Washington Marion Charging Indians homecoming tonight. Saints will receive to start the game. Marion will kick that back deep to receive is Jaden Johnson and Benji Chatters for the Saints. Across the 35 to about the 38 yard line. That was Evan Jobert, the up man on the play. Saints will have it first and 10. They'll mark it at the 39. Cooper Miller at quarterback. He's got Mays and Joe Bear, and he'll toss it to Joe Bear, run it to his right, cuts it in. Gain of about two, maybe three on the play. I'll mark it up to the 41. It'll be second down. And eight. Tight ends, two wings in the high formation. They'll give it to Wade Mays, the first man through. Pushes to about the 45 yard line, just short of the 45. They'll bring up third down and five. down and five. Ball just short of the 45 yard line. They'll give it to Jobert. Jobert gets out across the 50 to about the 45. 10 yard run will have the first down. 
Saints in Washington Marion territory. High formation, wide receivers to either side. They'll give it to Jobert. Hit as he crosses the line of scrimmage. He'll be stopped for no gain. Second down and 10. For the Saints. Cool night here in Lake Charles. Low humidity. Second and 10 now for the Saints. Toss to Jobert running right. He'll be hit at the line of scrimmage and brought down for no gain once again. It'll be third and 10. Third and 10 Saints, ball at the 45 of the Charging Indians. Delay handoff to Jobert, and he's got room out across the 35. He'll have the first down, 10 yard carry for Evan Jobert. They'll mark it at the 34 yard line, first and 10 Saints. Miller will throw it out to Chatters in the left flats. Chatters breaks the tackle. And he'll be pushed out of bounds near the 30 yard line. Another first down, pickup of 11 for the Saints. He'll mark it at the 21, first and 10. Miller, he'll give to Jobert running right. Jobert will be brought down as he crosses the 20. Gain of two, second down and eight for the Saints. Eight minutes to go in the first quarter, no score. Saints with the opening drive. Or down just inside the 20. Give us to Jobert running left. Got some room around the left side. And he's down inside the 10 to about the five yard line. Saints will have it first and goal. They'll mark it right at the five. So it'll be first and goal Saints at the Washington Marion five yard line. High formation. They'll give it to Jobert running left, trying to get around the corner. And he's in for the touchdown. Five yard touchdown run for Evan Jobert. And the Saints get on the board first. With 7.25 to go in the first quarter, Saints lead it six to nothing. The extra point coming up. On to kick for the Saints. He's number 93, Jack Watson, for the extra point. Neck to snap, Barry Hill to hold. 
There's the kick, it's up, and it's good. So 7.25 to go in the first quarter. Saints lead it seven to nothing. Jimmy Ryder set to kick off for the Saints. Short kick. And it'll fall at about the 35. Saints had a chance at it. Berry Hill, and it went out of bounds at the 36 yard line. Washington and Marion, I have it first and 10 at the 36 yard line. 7.23 to go, and the Saints leading at 7 to nothing on the Stutes and Laverne scoreboard. First and 10 for the Charging Indians. They go from the shotgun, hand it off to the first man through. He's hit as he comes through, breaks a tackle, and gets away from the tackle, and he'll have the first down. Looks like Will Gage was the first man to him, couldn't hold on. And there's a flag on the play right at the 44 yard line. Penalty was against Washington Marion. That'll back him up. 10 yards. They'll hand it off right side. And he'll be brought down as he crosses the line of scrimmage by number 64, Jason Richardson. Gain of two on the play. It'll be second down and eight. No huddle for the Georgian Indians. And they'll look to throw. Pass out to the right side. He's got a man. Flag comes down immediately. And the pass was short of the first down. Coverage by Gabe Meyer and Joe Perkle. Ineligible man downfield. It'll be declined. It'll be third down and six. Third and six for the Indians. Ball at their 40 yard line. They'll look to throw. Now he's going to be sacked in the backfield back at the 36 yard line by number 74, Charlie Dross. And that'll bring up fourth down, fourth and 10 for the Charging Indians. Yeah. 
And Charged Indians look like they're leaving the offense on the field. They'll go for it here on fourth and 10 from their own 36 yard line. And now they'll drop back and punt. Nobody back for the Saints, they'll let it hit. It'll bounce inside the 25 down to about the 20 yard line. And the Saints will have it first and 10 from their own 20. Five ten to go in the first quarter. Saints lead at seven nothing. They'll get the ball back here. Ball at the twenty one yard line. Miller under center. He'll give it to Joe Bear. Joe Bear finds a small hole. They'll gain a few yards. Depends on where they mark. I'm sorry, that was Mays. It was Wesley Mays, first man through the fullback. My low angle. It's hard for us to tell the yardage until they move the sticks. They'll give, give him three on the play. It'll be second and seven. Motion is Johnson there. There's movement in the line. False start against the Saints. That'll back him up five yards. And second down and 12. Second 12 for the Saints. Ball back at the 20 yard line. Miller give it to Jaden Johnson on the sweep. He's got room around the left side. He's going to be close to the 30, just short of the first down. Look up third and about two. Two ball just short of the 30 yard line. Miller will give to Joe Bear running left. He'll have the first down out of bounds near the 35 yard line. First and 10 Saints. Three twelve to go in the first. Saints lead it 7-0. Saints are out in their huddle. Washington Marion trying to go to the sideline, but there was no timeout. Officials trying to get him back out onto the field. Now they'll put the play clock in motion. First and 10 Saints, ball at the 34 yard line. Hand off to Jobert, running right. He trips over a player and goes down across the 35. Gain of, gain of two. We'll call it second and eight. Jobert runs right. 
Breaks a tackle, he'll have the first down and more. He'll get across midfield. They'll mark him down all the way to the 46 yard line of the Indians. And now Washington Marion will take a timeout. 2.04 to go in the first quarter. Saints lead at 7 0. Timeout, Washington Marion. Tonight's game sponsor, Meyer and Associate Consulting Engineers. 2.04 to go in the first quarter. Saints lead at 7-0. And have the ball first and 10 at the Washington Marion 46-yard line. They'll give to Jobert straight ahead. He'll get across the 46 to about the 43-yard line. Gain of three, it'll be second down. Seven. Miller looks to throw. Throws deep down the left side for Jaden Johnson. He's got it. Inside the 10, he'll be out of bounds near the goal line. Just short, maybe at the two yard line. And there's a flag down at the 24. So let's see what the call is gonna be. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the charging Indians. So I'll move it half the distance to the goal. And let's see where they're gonna mark it. Saints will have it first and goal deep in Washington Marion territory. As 41 yard Cooper Miller to Jaden Johnson pass and the Saints have it first and goal at about the two yard line. Power eye behind Miller. He'll give it to Jobert, and Jobert will get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball at the one. Miller will give to Jobert, running to his left. And he'll be just short of the touchdown once again. Stopped at the one. And it'll be third and goal from the one for the Saints. Yeah. 
That'll do it for the first quarter. Saints lead it 7-0. When we come back, they'll have it third and goal from inside the one. Game sponsor Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. Our scoreboard sponsor for tonight's game is Stutes and Laverne, attorneys at law. Third and goal, Saints. Ball just inside the one. Goodwin in the eye formation, and they'll give it to Goodwin, running to his right, tries to break it to the outside, cuts it back, and he'll be short. And it'll be fourth and goal inside the one yard line. Saints will go for it here on fourth and goal. Mays, Goodwin. They'll give it straight ahead, and Jaleel Goodwin will get in for the one-yard touchdown. Touchdown, Saints. 11.08 to go. Saints jump out to a 13 to nothing lead with the extra point coming up. Watson on for the extra point. Kick is up. And it's no good, wide to the right. 11.08 to go. And the Saints lead it 13 to nothing. Today's game day sponsor is Meyer and Associate Consulting Engineers. Eleven oh eight to go, and the Saints lead it thirteen to nothing here over the Washington Marion Charging Indians. Andrew Kilpatrick set to kick off. It's a low kick; it'll be taken. At about the 10. To his left, he'll get out across the 25. Where it'll be first and 10, Washington Marion. First and 10 Indians. They'll hand it off to the tailback and he'll be hit in the backfield. 
by number 25, Will Jix. Jix on his first game back after injury. Missed several games. No gain on the play, second and 10. No look to throw. No throw it out into the flats. Got a man. He'll be hit. And he'll be driven back as he gets close to the 30-yard line. Gabe Meyer and Will Gage on the tackle. Game of three, it'll be second and seven for the Indians. They'll look to throw once again. Pass deep down the left side and nobody there. It'll be fourth down. Fourth and seven. And they'll line up to go for it. They did this last time and dropped back and punted. And now they'll drop back once again. It's a low kick. It gets it off. It's going to be a short punt. It's going to bounce near midfield. And it'll come to a stop in Saints territory at about the 49-yard line. Saints will have it first and 10 just inside of Washington Marion territory, leading 13 to nothing on the Stutes and Laverne school board with 9.36 to go in the half. First and 10 Saints ball on the Indians 49-yard line. I formation behind Miller. Miller will give to Jobert running left. It's hit in the backfield. He'll be brought down for a loss of a couple. Loss of three on the play. It's going to be second down at 13 for the Saints. And they'll blow the play dead. False start against the Saints. That'll back them up five. It'll be second down and 18 now for the Saints. Second and 18, ball at the 43-yard line of the Saints. The Saints need to get to the 38 of the Indians. They'll give it to Jaden Johnson running left, cuts it back in. He'll get back about four. Just short of midfield, it's going to be third and 12 for the Saints. Miller will roll to his right, looking to throw, gets rid of it. It's going to be knocked down as Miller threw, and it'll be fourth down for the Saints.
Druye on to punt for the Saints. Be taken inside the 15, running room, straight up the middle, hurdles a player, and there's a flag as he crosses the 35 to about the 37 yard line. Flag came from deep in this corner. Block in the back against the Indians. That'll back them up 15. It'll be first and 10 from the 25 yard line. Two wide outs left, one right, and they'll look to throw. Throw it in the flats and running room down the left side. Breaks some tackles. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Nobody's going to touch him. 75 yard pitch and catch for the touchdown for the Indians. Saints have an injured player on the field back at the 35, 25-yard line. Your player for the Saints was Will Jix. 75 yard touchdown pass by the Indians have cut the lead to 13 to six for the Charging Indians. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw, throw it out in the flats to the left and it Came up short. 7.25 to go in the half and on the Stu Tin Laverne scoreboard at St. Louis 13 and Washington Marion 6. Tonight's game is sponsored by Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. Indian set to kick off. Back deep for the Saints is Benji Chatters and Jaden Johnson. kick. It'll come down out of bounds near the 30-yard line. Saints will have it first and 10 at the 35. Saints may elect to have them kick it again. As 
the discussion takes place. And they will. Saints will have them kick it again. They'll back them up five yards. And Washington Marion will re kick. As the advantage was only a couple yards. Saints want to set up a return to one of their up men. They'll tee it up at the 35-yard line. A little better kick. Chatters will take it at the 20. He'll break a tackle, get across the 35 to about the 38-yard line. First and 10 Saints at the 30. Seven yard line with 7.17 to go here in the first half. Saints lead it 13 to six. Miller at quarterback, he'll hand it to Goodwin, run it to his left side, cuts it back, he'll get across the 40, and no further, gain of four on the play. Make it three, it'll be second and seven. Second seven for the Saints. Ball at the 40 yard line. Amazing Goodwin in the eye. And they'll toss it to Goodwin running right. He'll cut it back in, breaks a few tackles. He'll have the first down near midfield. And a late flag comes in after the play from the side judge. Helmet contact was the call against Washington Marion. That'll be 15 yards, and that'll move the ball all the way down to the Indian 36-yard line. So first and 10 Saints at the 36. 6.23 to go in the half. Saints up by seven. 13 to 6 on the Stutes and Laverne scoreboard. Miller give to Goodwin. Goodwin finds some room on the right side. Gets across the 30. Gain of about six. It'll bring up a long second down and four to go. Toss to Goodwin running right. Gets around the corner. Gains a few on the play. It'll be third and about three. Third and two, ball at the 
27-yard line. Give it to Goodwin, running straight ahead. He'll have the first down to about the 20. They'll mark it at the 21 yard line, first and 10 Saints, four minutes and 40 seconds to go in the half. Give it to Goodwin, running left. Get near the 15. Gain of five, it'll be second down and five for the Saints. Second five, they'll give it to Mays, first man through. He's inside the 10, down to about the six yard line. First and goal, Saints. Quick hit to the fullback. And Wesley Mays gets down to the six yard line. First and goal, Saints, 3.32. Clock running here to go in the first half. Saints lead it by a score of 13 to six. And we're gonna get a timeout. Washington Marion will take a timeout with 3.25 to go in the half. Tonight's game day sponsor is Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. First and goal for the Saints. Ball at the six yard line. They'll give it to Jaden Johnson inside the five. He pushes two. About the one. It'll be second and goal from the one. Goodwin checks in that tailback. They'll give it to him running right. And he's in for the touchdown. Jaleel Goodwin, two yard touchdown run. 244 to go and the Saints extend the lead to 20 to 13. With the extra point coming up. Patrick on for the kick. There's the snap, the kick, it's up. And it's good. 2.44 to go. In the first half, and the Saints lead it 20 to nothing on the Stutes and Laverne scoreboard.
Tonight's game sponsored by Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. And a check of the Stutes and Laverne scoreboard. Saints lead it 20 to six. The 2.44 to go in the first half. Andrew Kilpatrick set to kick it off. High kick will come down at about the five. Running to the left. And it'll be hit at the 22-yard line by Noah Berryhill. Two thirty-eight to go in the first half. Western Marion will have it first and ten from their own 22-yard line. They'll give it to the first man through, and he'll be tackled in the backfield. That was number 74, Charlie Drost on the tackle. Give him a gain of one. It'll be second down and nine. Clock running at 2.20 to go in the half. And they'll look to throw. Out in the flats, it's almost, it's intercepted. Gabe Meyer overthrew his receiver. Gabe Meyer stepped in front of the other receiver, made the interception, and the Saints are gonna have it first and 10 at the Washington Marion 29 yard line with 2.06 to go in the half. Saints get the turnover. Deep in Washington Marion territory. Officials getting together. I don't see a flag on the field. And there's not. It'll be first and 10 Saints. Ball sitting on the 28 yard line of the Charging Indians. Two oh six to go. Miller's got Joe Bear, he'll give it to the first man through. That's Rena. Rena will get down across the 25 yard line. Gain of three. Second down and seven for the Saints. Arena stays in it, fullback. He's got Joe Bear behind him. Miller will look to throw. He's going to hitch to Johnson out in the flats. And he'll get near the 20 yard line. He'll be short of the first down. And the Saints will want a timeout here with 1.16 to go in the half. Saints will take a timeout. Leading it 20 to 6. Third and three for the Saints. They'll snap it quickly, and the play's busted up in the backfield, but somehow Cooper Miller gets the ball to Jaleel Goodwin, and Goodwin will have the first down for the Saints. 
Cooper Miller was hit in the backfield before he could hand the ball off. He somehow gets it to Jaleel Goodwin. And Goodwin's able to get the first down. First and 10 Saints. Ball at the 14 yard line with 1.03 to go in the half. Clock running, Saints are hurrying. They have two timeouts left. Miller will toss it to Goodwin. Goodwin's gonna look to throw. Now he rolls back to his left. Still on his feet, he's gonna throw it. He's got Chatters in the corner and Chatters can't come up with it. Tried to keep his feet in bounds, couldn't come up with the pass. It'll be second and 10. That'll stop the clock with 46 seconds to go in the half. Goodwin wanted to roll to his right, was looking for Jaden Johnson on the right side, was flushed, had to come back left, found Chatters, but couldn't get it to him before he was trying to keep his feet in before he went out of bounds. That'll stop the clock at 46 seconds to go, second and 10 from the 14. They'll give it to Jaden Johnson on the reverse. Gets hit at the 10, spins, goes down at about the nine yard line. Clock at 35 seconds and running. And now the Saints will take a timeout with 30 seconds to go in the half. So timeout Saints. It'll be third and five when we come back. Third and five, ball on the nine yard line. They'll give it to Johnson on the sweep once again. Goes to the outside, into the end zone. Touchdown. Jaden Johnson on the reverse nine yard touchdown run. And the Saints will extend the lead to 26 to six with 23 seconds to go in the first half. Kilpatrick on for the extra point. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. It's up and it's good. With 23 seconds to go in the first half, it's St. Louis 27 and Washington Marion six on the Stoots and Laverne school board. Tonight's game sponsor is Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. Saints leading it 27 to six. With 23 seconds to go. And Saints have dominated time of possession as Washington Marion went three and out twice. And then on their third possession on the first play, they threw an interception. Otherwise, it's been all Saints here in the first half. I'm sorry, they did have the, the long touchdown on their second possession. Andrew Kilpatrick set to kick off. There's the kick. And that'll go into the end zone for the touchback. So first and 10, Washington Marion at the 20-yard line with 23 seconds to go here in the first half.
They'll hand it off, running right. And it'll be brought down by number 36, Will Gage. Gain of a couple. It'll be second down at eight, clock at 10 seconds. And Washington Marion will just let it run out here to end the first half. And at the end of one half of play, it's been all Saints. All the Stutes and Laverne school board, St. Louis 27 and Washington Marion 6. It's Washington Marion halftime. I'm sorry, Washington Marion homecoming. We'll be back for the third quarter in a bit.
Get ready for the second half. Tonight's game sponsored by Meyer and Associates. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Stutes and Laverne. Attorneys at law. Saints leading it 27 to six here over the Washington Marion Charging Indians. Saints dominated the first half other than a 55 yard pass and run by the Trojan Indians. It's been all St. Louis. And Andrew Kilpatrick is set to kick it off to start the second half. There's the kick and it'll go into the end zone for the touchback. The Indians will start at first and 10 from their own 20 yard line. off straight ahead to the pile. Gain of about three on the play. Tackled by a whole host of Saints, led by Jason Richardson getting up off the bottom of the pile. It'll be second down and seven. They'll look to throw, throw it out to the right side. Got his man bobbling the ball and couldn't come up with it before he runs out of bounds incomplete. It'll be third and seven for the Indians. Great drop, looking to throw, throws it out to the flats and over the extended arm of his receiver. And it'll be fourth down. Saints defense holds. The Trojan Indians have yet to line up in a punt formation, then line up like they're gonna go for it. And quarterback drops back and quick kicks it. Let's see how they line it up. Once again, Saints don't send anybody back when they do that. And it appears they will line up in the go for it formation once again. And now he'll drop back. They send a man deep. It's Laverne. Laverne will take it at the 45. He'll get across midfield and he'll be down just inside the the charging Indians territory at the 44 yard line. So first and 10 Saints ball at the Washington Marion, 49 yard line. Cooper Miller at quarterback. He'll toss it back to Jobert. Jobert looking for room around the left side, turns the corner, gets to about the 45 yard line of the flag down back at midfield. Holding against the Saints, first penalty I'm sorry, that's, the Saints had a, false, a couple false starts early in the game. First major penalty against the Saints. That'll back them up 10. 
from the spot of the foul. They'll place the ball at the Saints 39 yard line. And now we'll have another flag. As they're gonna call an unsportsmanlike against the Saints. I'm not sure who that was on. Maybe someone from the Saints coaching staff. As the side judge here on the near side called the penalties, that'll back them up 15 more. It's going to be first and a whole lot. First and about 39 to go for the Saints. They'll give it to Jaden Johnson on the reverse. Looking for room, he'll get across the 20 and not much else. Gain of a couple. It'll be second down. And about 36 to go for the first down. And we'll have a flag once again on the near sideline. And now we'll have a sideline warning against the Saints. Explanation taking place between the head referee and Coach Laverne. Second down and a whole bunch for the Saints. Saints need to get across midfield to get the first down. They'll give it straight ahead to the fullback. And he'll get to about the 30-yard line. Wesley Mays. It'll be third down. And about 32. I'm sorry. The original line of scrimmage was near midfield. The Saints need to get to the 39-yard line of Washington Marion. The ball sits on the 30 of the Saints. Nine twenty-six to go in the first in the third quarter. Saints lead it 27 to six on the Stutes and Laverne scoreboard. Gives straight ahead to Mays. Mays finds a little running room. Gets out across the 40 to about the 41. It'll be fourth and 20, and the Saints will bring on the punting unit. Drouillet on the punt for the Saints. There's the snap and the kick. Almost blocked. Drouillet's going to be hit and the flag will be down. Ball takes the Saints bounce. It's picked up. 
by the Washington Marion running back. He'll lose yardage back to the 19-yard line. Julia was run into, and it's the personal foul variety, roughing the kicker against Washington Marion. Personal foul, 15 yards and an automatic first down. That'll move the ball all the way to the 44-yard line of Washington Marion. So the Saints had fourth down, I'm sorry, had first down and 40 to go after a holding and an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. They gained about 10 yards. The roughing the punter gives the Saints 15 yards and the automatic first down. So first and 10 Saints at the Washington Marion 44 yard line. High formation behind Miller. They'll give it to Goodwin. He's gonna be hit at the line of scrimmage. He'll get to about the 41. Give him two on the play. It'll be second down and eight. Second and eight for the Saints. They'll toss it back to Goodwin. He cuts it inside, gets across the 40 to about the 39 yard line. Gain of two or three on the play. It'll be third and about five. Third and five for the Saints. Power eye formation, and there's movement on the line. And it'll be a false start against the Saints. That'll back them up five. So the five yard penalty will make it third and nine. Ball at the 43-yard line of the Indians. Saints hustle to the line. There's eight on the play clock. Wide outs to either side. Miller will drop back to throw, quick pass. He's looking for Tatters down the left side. And it was tipped by the Washington Mar Marion player and falls incomplete. It'll be fourth and nine. And the Saints will send the punting unit back out. So Drew Yeh back to punt. Good snap and the kick. We have a flag along the line of scrimmage. They'll let it bounce at the 10. It'll take a Saints roll and then the kick's back. And a Saints will down it near the 10 yard line. There's a flag, two flags down here at the line of scrimmage. Let's see what the call is. Illegal procedure against the Saints. So I'll back us up five, we'll kick it again.
snap and the kick. And they'll let it bounce once again. It bounces at the 15, inside the 10, down to near the five yard line. Great job by Drew Yade. Penn Washington Marion back at the five yard line, first and 10 for the Trojan Indians. First and 10 from the five. Now look to pass, throw it across the middle. And he'll be hit and gets away. And then he's out to the 30 yard line and he'll be pushed out of bounds. Missed tackle back at the 15. And he gets it down to the 30. And we have an injured player on the field. Hendrick Saint on the near sideline. Looks like a cramp. Clock stop with 5.43 to go in the third quarter. Saints leading 27 to 6 on the Stutes and Laverne scoreboard. Missed the first half. Washington Marion had a 55 yard touchdown pass. Other than that, it was all Saints dominating time of possession and holding the Indians to three and outs. Today's game sponsored by Meyer and Associates. Consulting engineers. Wesley Mays was the injured player on his feet, stretching out a cramp. So first and 10, charging Indians at their own 31 yard line. 5.40 to go in the third quarter. Saints leading it 27 to six. They'll throw it quick out to the left side. He got a man, he breaks through into the open field and he's off to the races, 30, 20, 10, and touchdown. 69 yard touchdown pass. Washington Marion is on the board, 27 to 12. There's a flag back at the 24 yard line. And the head referee is standing back at the 30. It looks like that may come back. Let's see what the call is gonna be. Both teams are coming back from the far side of the field. And it is against Washington Marion. I didn't see the signal. But it is against the Charging Indians. That'll take the touchdown off the board. And it was a five yard penalty. Thought the call was an illegal procedure. So the five yard penalty takes the 69 yard touchdown play off the board. It'll be first and 15 for the Indians. 5-19 to go in the third quarter.
They'll flip it out to the flats. And he'll be brought down after a gain of maybe one. Actually, they'll mark it back. He lost the yard on the play. Didn't see who made the tackle. There were several Saints out there. Matt Houston being one of them. We'll back him up a yard. It'll be second and 16 now for all the Indians. Back to pass. Throwing deep down the right side. Hangs it up. And a man will come down with it at the 35-yard line. It was up for grabs. And the Washington Marion receiver out jumps the Saints receivers. It'll be first and 10 at the Saints 35 yard line. First and 10 Indians, ball at the 35 of the Saints. They'll look to throw once again out to the flats. He'll be hit as he catches it by Gabe Meyer for a short gain of about three. Gain of five, it'll be second and five, ball at the 30 yard line. They'll hand it off to the first man through, finds a little room, he'll be close to the first down. And it looks like he'll have it across the 25. It'll be first down and 10 Indians. Ball just inside the 25 yard line. Now look to throw once again, under pressure. He's gonna have to scramble, shakes off a tackler. Now he's got room around the right side. And he's gonna be near the 10 yard line. It'll be first and 10 Indians. Thanks had him flushed in the backfield, couldn't hold on. Quarterback scrambles for 11 yards, first and 10. Ball at the 11 yard line. They'll hand it off to the first man through. He's got room on the right side, cuts it back inside the five yard line. They'll mark him down at about the six. It'll be second and five. Gain of five, second down and five for the Indians. Three oh five to go in the third quarter. They'll throw it out to the flats on the left side. Inside the five and in for the touchdown. Touchdown Washington Marion, five yard touchdown pass with 2.55 to go in the third quarter. Washington Marion cuts the score to 27 to 12. The extra point coming up. 2.55 to go in the third quarter. And they'll go for two. Looking to throw, throw it out to the flats and he's got his man for the two point conversion. Five to go in the third quarter. It's St. Louis 27 and Washington Marion 14 on the Stutes and Laverne scoreboard.
27-14, St. Louis with 2.55 to go in the third. Washington Mary is set to kick off. There's the kick. It'll go out of bounds on the far sideline. Legal procedure, Saints will have it first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. First and 10 Saints at the 35-yard line with 2.55 to go in the third quarter. Cooper Miller under center. Rena and Goodwin. He'll give it to Goodwin straight ahead. Goodwin will get near the 40-yard line to about the 39. Gain of four. It'll be second down and six. Delayed handoff, and Goodwin will be hit in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. Make it two, and it'll be third and eight. Saints trying to go delayed handoff, and Goodwin hit in the backfield. Third and nine for the Saints. Chatter splits out wide right. Goodwin in the eye. And they'll toss it to Goodwin. He'll look to throw. He's going to throw it deep for Chatters. And Chatters can't catch up to it incomplete. And it'll be fourth down. Saints will have to punt. Running in and on for the Saints, Drouillet back to punt. There's a snap and the kick. It's a high spiral. And it'll be muffed at the 25 yard line. Looks like Washington Marion got back on the ball. Kane Miller was there, couldn't get on it. And yeah, the Indians will have it first and 10 from their own 26 yard line. 122 to go in the third quarter. Saints lead at motion they'll toss it to him sweeping to his right there's a flag down on the play near the 30 yard line and it's illegal procedure against the charging Indians that'll back him up five it'll be first and 15 
And the Saints will take a timeout here with 108 to go in the third quarter. Saints leading at 27 to 14. First and 15 for the Indians from their own 22-yard line. Quick pass out to the right and breaking tackles to about the 35-yard line. Injured player on the field for the Saints. The second and about two as the training staff is out to check on the injured Saint. Kane Miller was the injured saint. He comes off under his own power. Second and two. Throw across the middle is incomplete. I'll bring up third down. So third and two for the Indians. Ball at the 35 the yard line. Hand it off, and they'll have the first down out to the 40-yard line, first and 10, Washington Marion. So 
First and 10 Indians at the 40 yard line. Back to pass. And now he'll scramble and he'll be brought down at the 40 yard line. Will Gage was the first one to him. They'll give him maybe a yard on the scramble. It'll be second down and nine. Sixteen seconds to go in the third quarter. Saints lead it 27-14. They'll hand it off. Oh, they'll throw it across the middle. They've got a man across midfield. He'll have the first down in the Saints territory to about the 46-yard line. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. We'll go to the fourth quarter. It's St. Louis 27 and Washington Marion 14. Today's game sponsor is Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor, Stutes and Laverne, attorneys at law. We head to the fourth quarter. Saints leading Washington Marion 27 to 14. Washington Marion has it first and 10 at the Saints 46 yard line. First and 10 for the Indians. And they'll look to throw. They throw into the flats. They got their man. And he'll be brought down after a short gain of maybe two on the play. It'll be second down and eight. Make it three, second and seven for the Indians, ball at the 43-yard line of the Saints. Pass once again, same play to this side. He'll be tackled at the 40-yard line. He'll be short of the first down, third and three. Three wide receivers left now for the Indians. They'll give it to the fullback. He'll be hit as he crosses the line of scrimmage. Ball comes loose. And the Saints say they have it. Waiting for the signal. Will Dix came out with the ball. They're going to talk it over. Injured Washington Marion player on the ground as well. No signal yet on whose ball it is. They're going to say he was down before the ball came loose. And it'll be first down Washington Marion at the 35 yard line.
So first and 10 Indians at the Saints 35 yard line, 10.50 to go in the game, clock running. Empty backfield, they'll throw across the middle, incomplete. Clock stops at 10.44, it'll be second and 10. Second 10 Indians. They'll give it to the running back and he's got running room. He'll have the first down or close to it near the 25 yard line of the Saints. It'll be just short of the first down, second and one. They throw it out in the flats, got a man. He'll have the first down. It'll be brought down after a gain of about three near the 20 yard line. It'll be first and 10 Indians. Indians playing hurry up, no huddle as they have most of the night. Ten minutes to go in the game. They'll flip it out into the flats to the running back. Still on his feet, he'll be pushed out of bounds after a gain of about six. Down to the 14 yard line, it'll be second and four. Second four, and the Washington Mary will pass. Now the running back will scramble and he'll be bottled up on the inside. Gabe Johnson, the first one to him. Followed by Will Gage. And it'll be third down and seven. Third and seven for the Indians. And they'll look to throw to the left side. Throws underneath, incomplete, nobody there, and it's fourth down. Clock stops on the incomplete pass, 8.35 to go. Indians will go for it here on fourth down. Ball at the 16 yard line. Well, look to throw, throw it across the middle. He's got a man, he's hit as he catches the pass and he'll have the first down yardage just inside the 10 yard line. It'll be first and goal for the Indians. First and goal, Washington Marion. Just inside the 10. And a bad snap, and they pick it up. They give it to the running back. We've got two flags down. He gets into the end zone, but there's a flag down, and now the referee picks it up. False start against the Indians. Ball start on the Indians will back it up five. It'll be first and goal from the 14. There were multiple flags on the field. The linesman each threw a flag and then the head referee threw his flag, but he picked it up. I guess under the assumption that the linesman had the correct call. So that'll back him up five. It'll move it out to the 14 yard line. First and goal, Indians. 
clock starts at 8.05 to go in the game. Looking to throw and now scrambles. And he'll be hit and brought down at the 14 yard line by number 25, Will Jix. No gain on the play, second and goal from the 14. Hand off, and they'll break it to the outside, looking for room. Hit, turns the corner, and he's in for the touchdown. 14-yard touchdown run. And with 7-10 to go, Washington Marion cuts the score to 27-20 with the extra point coming up. Indians will go for two here. Tight formation, wide outs to either side. And they'll hand it off straight ahead and he's in for the two point conversion. So it's 7-10 to go. Washington Marion cuts the lead to 27 to 22. Game sponsors Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. 7-10 to go. Washington Marion has cut the lead to 27 to 22. And set to kick off. And the Saints are gonna have to take a timeout before the kickoff. Saints are forced to take their second time out here. As they didn't have the right personnel out on the kickoff team, on the kickoff return team. Looks like the Saints want to get the hands unit out there expecting the onside kick here with 7.10 to go. All low numbers on the field for the Saints. Everybody up within the 40 yard line. Goodwin is back at his 15. There's the kick. They squib it along the ground. Jaleel Goodwin picks it up. He's across the 20 looking for room. Running up the middle, finding room around the 30 to about the 35 yard line. And the Saints will have it first and 10 at the 35. First and 10 Saints, seven, 05 to go in the game. Saints lead it by five, 27 to 22. Miller handoff to Goodwin. Goodwin bounces it, gets to about the 40, a gain of five. 
They'll mark him back at the 44. I'm sorry, the 30, 39. Give him four. It'll be second down and six. Second and six for the Saints. They'll give it to Goodwin. He's hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage. He'll get no gain. And it'll be third and six. Third and six. And there's a timeout on the field. 5.57 to go in the game. Saints lead it 27-22. Timeout. Third and six for the Saints. And the Saints will look to throw. They got a man in the middle across the 40. Kevin Collins, a gain of 25 across midfield to the Washington Marion 40 yard line. First and 10 Saints. As Cooper Miller hits Collins on the base pass. First and 10 Saints. High formation behind Miller. And he'll give it to Jaden Johnson on the sweep underneath. Gain of about three on the play, make it four. Second down at six. Joe Bear checks out, Goodwin checks back in. Game clock down to five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Saints lead by five, 27-22. Two tight ends, eye formation. Everybody in the box, they'll give it to Goodwin straight ahead. He'll push to about the 32-yard line. Gain of two, maybe three on the play. The third down and a long Two. Timeout on the field as Washington Marion will take a timeout here with 4.28 to go in the game. Saints lead at 27 to 22. It'll be third and three when we come back.
third and short. And they'll give it to Goodwin. He's going to be hit in the backfield, and he'll lose a yard on the play. Back to about the 34-yard line. It'll be fourth down and five. Not the play the Saints wanted here on third and short. Yeah, looks like the Saints will leave the offense on the field. And they're going to go for it here on fourth down and five at the 35-yard line. Power eye, two tight ends. And the Saints are going to get the... Washington Marion offsides, and that'll be enough for the first down. Miller on the hard count. Forced the Indians to jump. That'll move the ball to the 29-yard line. It'll be first and 10, Saints. 341 to go in the game. Game clock running, play clock not yet started. The Saints are going to take their time. They still have not put the play clock in motion. And now the play clock starts. They'll give it to Goodwin, running right. Finds a hole, gets across the 25-yard line to about the 24. Gain of five, it'll be second down and five for the Saints. Oh, no. 2.42 to go in the game. Play clock at 18. Saints need to let it run all the way down before they snap it. Play clock down to five. Saints will snap it. Miller fumbles the ball. And the Saints are going to recover it. About a four-yard loss. Saints lucky to get back on the ball. They'll lose about four yards. It'll be third and nine. And now Washington Marion will take a timeout. 2.01 to go in the game. Timeout, Indians. Saints leading it 27 22. Third and nine, ball at the 29-yard line. 2.01 to go in the game. And the Saints are going to call a timeout. Miller went up for the hard count. Couldn't get him to jump, called the timeout. So Saints will take a timeout here with 2.01 to go.
third and nine for the Saints. Saints go two tight ends and power I. They'll give it to Jaden Johnson on the end around. He'll gain about five down near the 20 yard line. It'll be fourth down and four and the field goal unit will come on for the Saints. Kilpatrick will place the ball at the 30 yard line. It'll be a 40 yard field goal attempt with 1.30 to go, clock running. And they'll let the play clock run down as the play clock's at 15 seconds. Neck to snap, Barry Hill to hold. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. It's up, it's long enough. It's no good, it's wide left. Kilpatrick misses wide left. And Washington Marion will take over first and 10 at their own 20 with 1.05 to go in the game. Minute five to go in the game. First and 10, Washington Marion. Trailing by five, has to go the length of the field. Back to pass, he's got his man in the flats, pulled out of bounds. And they'll say forward progress stopped in bounds. Clock will continue to run. Ball at the 25 yard line, make it the 24, gain of three, it'll be second down. And seven, clock down to 45 seconds to go in the game. Three wide receivers right, looking left, under pressure, gets away, gets the ball out. He's got a man at midfield, and he's gonna be pushed out of bounds near the 40 yard line of the Saints, make it the 38 yard line. 34 seconds to go, clock stops while they move the chains. First and 10, Washington Marion at the Saints 38 yard line. Thirty-four seconds to go. First and ten. Back to pass. Under pressure. Rolling to his right. Now he lets it go, and it'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Flags down on the far side of the field at the 35-yard line. There's a helmet on the field, and one of the Saints players without a helmet. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the Saints. Gabe Johnson lost his helmet, continued to play. And that's an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against the Saints. So that'll be a 15 yard penalty. And put Washington Marion down near the 21 yard line of the Saints with 26 seconds to go in the game. First and 10. Indians. Back to pass, flushed out of the pocket. And he'll run for it, he'll get out of bounds near the 20 yard line to about the 16 or 17 yard line. 18 seconds to go in the game. Connor Welch with the pressure, couldn't bring him down. And there's 18 seconds to go. Second down and five from the 16 yard line of the Saints. Back to throw once again. Got a man underneath. And he'll be brought out of bounds at about the eight. 13 seconds to go, clock stops on the out of bounds. 
First and goal, Washington Marion. First and goal, Washington Marion, 13 seconds to go in the game. Ball at the seven. Saints lead by five. They throw it across the middle, it's intercepted. Intercepted by the Saints. Will Jix intercepts it and brings it back to the 19 yard line. Seven seconds to go and the Saints are gonna hold on for the victory. Will Jix, back from injury after missing several games, comes up with the interception. And the Saints will have the ball at the 19 yard line with seven seconds to go. So the Saints will just kneel it here and let the clock run out. And the Saints will hold on for a 27 to 22 victory. Miller kneels it, clock starts, five, four, three, two, one, and your final score, St. Louis 27 and Washington Marion 22. Saints will be back in action on Thursday night this week as the Saints will take on the Jennings Bulldogs at home in Cougar Stadium. Tonight's game sponsors Meyer and Associates Consulting Engineers. And your scoreboard sponsor for tonight's game, Stutes and Laverne, attorneys at law. Your final from Washington Marion, Charging Indian Stadium, St. Louis 27 and Washington Marion 22.